good day again mga kapilo. This day we will have another philosophical coffee session and our topic for this day is about moral versus non-moral standards. So this is actually chapter 1, topic 2 of our module. Let me just uh, tell you that this lecture is intended for my students in ISU Kawayan and also for the students of Mr. Lovi A. Palmera and Reni Mar S. Duyun of ISU Kawayan and of course Mr. Jez Res General S. Bautista of ISU Kabagan. So, ano nga ba itong moral standards? Ano din naman itong non-moral standards? We will learn about them. So, let's proceed to our discussion. When I, but, but before that, let me just read to you the learning outcomes. So, upon the completion of this topic, the student must be able to, number one, differentiate moral from non-moral standards. Then, number two, to cite the metaphors for moral standards. And number three, to explain the characteristics of moral standards. So, now let, we, let us go to what moral standard is. Mag sinabi ba natin moral standard? Ano ba ito? Moral standards. When we say moral standards, these are actually principles, norms, or models. Okay? These are principles, norms, or models that an individual or a group has about what is right or wrong or about what is good or bad. Again, to, to repeat it, moral standards are principles, norms, or models that an individual or group has about what is right or what is wrong or what is good or what is bad. So, ibig sabihin, itong moral standards na to, ito yung pinanghahawakan ng isang tao o ng isang grupo ng tao patungkol sa kung ano ang tama o mali at kung ano ang maganda at hindi maganda. This moral standard is subdivided into two. So, let me just erase this so that we will have our space for us to write on Moral standards is divided into two. It is divided, number one, uh, number one subdivision ng moral standard ay itong norms. And the other one is yung tinatawag nating values. Now, what is the difference between norms and values? Let us first talk about norms. Okay, let us just erase this, ha? Okay, pag sinabi natin norms, Pag sinabi natin norms, they are general rules. They are general rules about our actions or behaviors. Again, they are general rules about our actions or behaviors. So, general norms about our actions and behavior. Examples of which are, ito, Take responsibility for your actions. Norm yun. Kailangan kung anong ginawa mo, panindigan mo. You should always tell the truth. Sabihin mo kung ano yung totoo. And that is a norm. Or treat others as you want to be treated. Or the golden rule. Do to others what you want others do to you. Or in the negative way, do not do unto others what you do not want others do unto you. Another one is, it is wrong to kill an innocent pe person. Or it is wrong to kill people. These are norms. Kasi ito yung general rules na kung saan nagaguide ang ating actions and behaviors. So okay, class? Now let us go to values. Alam ko nung mga elementary kayo, meron kayong values education. So it is very easy to, to know what values are. So values... These are beliefs. These are beliefs and ideals. 
Okay? These are beliefs and ideals that are expressed as enduring beliefs or statements about what is good and desirable or not good and not desirable. Again, they are underlying beliefs and ideals that are expressed as enduring beliefs or statements about what is good and desirable or not. So, the examples of values that we have ay itong, that honesty is good. It is, uh, ang t- pangalan nito, hindi mo pwedeng ikaila. Indubitable. It cannot be doubted that honesty is good. Injustice is bad. It's an example of values. Another thing is yung uh, injustice is bad and fairness is good. When you say fairness is, is good, it is always about values. Now, you should always remember that moral standards is a combination ng norms and values. So as I said earlier, the subdivisions of moral standards na norms at saka values, ito yung nagko-compose sa ating moral standards. It is a combination of norms and values. In other words, they point us towards achievable ideas. At para saan ba yung moral standards na ito? The moral standards will lead us live our life to the fullest. Now, ano ginagawa natin sa moral standards na ito? Siyempre, dapat pag-aralan din natin. And um, what are what should we do about them? First, okay? Anong una? Ang una, they promote human welfare human welfare or well-being. Okay? Second, they promote the good. Promote good. Next, the last is they prescribe. They prescribe what humans ought to do, okay? What ought to be done? What ought to be done? What ought to be done when it comes to 3A, rights, and 3B, obligations. Yan ang kailangan natin gawin sa ating moral standards. Number one, they promote human welfare. Next one, they promote good. And then lastly, they prescribe what ought to be done such as rights and obligations. Okay? So, should there be any questions, you just feel free to ask again dun sa ating GC para mas maipaliwanag natin. And you can also read the module para mas maintindihan ng mabuti. Now, we go to non-moral standards. So, what is, the, what is this non-moral standard? So, let me just erase this so that we could have our space. Okay? Non-moral standards. Ano nga ba yung pagkakaiba ng moral standards sa non-moral standards? Ayaw magbura. Ayan. Ayan. So, tikpunta na tayo dito. Non-moral standards. Non-moral standards is also called conventional standards. So, conventional standards. Non-moral standards or conventional standards, these are standards which we judge what is good or bad and right on or wrong in a non-moral way. Meaning to say, I again, these are standards by which we judge what is good or bad or right or wrong in a non-moral way. So, hindi natin pag-uusapan ang moral standards kasi non-moral nga tayo dito. Conventional standards tayo. We, we talk more about manners here, about etiquette, 
house rules, for example, technical standards, building structures of rules of behavior set by parents, and so many other things. Now, we should not confuse non-moral standards with manners, etiquette, and house rules. Because not because you have good manners or good etiquette or you are observing good or proper house rules means that you are a moral person. You should always remember that these non-moral standards that will not imply that you are a moral person when you observe them. Okay? To... To give you an example, okay, let me just erase this one. Religion. Relig sa religion natin. Sa religion. Not because you are religious. Not because you are religious means that you are a moral person. No. Re being religious does not amount to being a moral person. Because violation of religion does not mean that you have violated the moral standards. But in order for us to, uh, when we go deeper to this topic, kasi, this is a different topic, but generally, when you are a religious person, it does not mean that you are a moral person. But the, uh, you should always remember that one source of morality is religion. Pero, we will go on to that uh, part as we go on to this discussion sa mga susunod pa na topics natin yan. Pero generally, you should always remember, being religious does not amount to being a moral person. Now, we go to another topic. Kung meron tayong moral, uh, moral standards, non-moral standards, meron din tayo tinatawag na amoral. Ano tong amoral na to? Pag sinabi mong amoral ka, what does it mean? Okay. What, what makes this word different from the descriptions above? Kanina, yung pinag-usapan natin tong moral and non-moral. Kapag sa amoral kasi, it, it means that it is not influenced by right or wrong. Hindi siya right, hindi din siya wrong. A moral ang tawag dyan. So, a, por a person, for example, who is a moral, wala siyang tinatawag na conscience. Wala siyang tinatawag na freedom. Okay? Because these two things guide your actions. When you have a conscience, it guides your actions. When you have, you have your freedom, it guides your actions. Without conscience and freedom, Without exercising them, then your actions are amoral. Ibig sabihin, they are neither right nor wrong. Examples of which, okay, magbibigay ako ng napakagandang example na maiintindihan natin lahat. Ang isang baby, bata, hindi yung baby na jowa ninyo ha. Kasi baka baby, ang tawag niyo, baby, sabi niyo. So baby, ang baby syempre, ang baby laging umiiyak. Try. Pag umiyak ang bata na natutulog ang mga magulang niya at naistorbo yung pagtulog ng mga magulang because of the iyak of the baby, does it mean that the baby is an immoral person? Well, the answer is no. Why? Because the baby does not know what he or she is doing. Dahil wala pa siyang conscience, wala pa siyang freedom. Nagutom siguro o nakaihi siguro sa daya pero o nakatahi siguro o may masakit sa kanya and crying is the only way of communication pag sa, dating sa mga baby. So, ibig sabihin, ang pag-iyak ng bata kahit nasaktan o naistorbo ang mga magulang niya, that action is an amoral action. Another example, mas ma, ito, mas madali, mas maiintindahan nyo to Okay. Baliw. May isang baliw. Schizophrenic, mentally challenged, psychopath, o kung ano man ang tawagin nyo. In Tagalog, baliw. In uh, Ilocano, bagtit. Magbagtit. In Ibanag, maguyong. Ayong. Okay? So, baliw. 
Now, ano naman ang bakit ang baliw? Ang moral yung action niya. Ang moral ng action ng baliw kasi wala siya namang konsensya at wala din siyang freedom. Hindi niya alam yung kanyang ginagawa. So, a baliw does not have a conscience and freedom. For example, in criminal laws, pag ang isang baliw pumatay o nagnakaw, ang ta- magkakaroon ng exempting circumstance kasi one of the exempting circumstance is yung pagiging baliw niya. Hindi siya makukulong kasi nga baliw siya. Pero dadalhin siya sa mental hospital. Hindi siya makukulong sa mga regular na mga kulungan. Kasi ang action nila ay amoral. Hindi nila alam na kung tama o mali yung ginagawa nila. Kaya ang isang amoral person, hindi siya moral, hindi rin siya immoral. Kasi siya ay amoral person. Now, moral norms, lagi natin dandaan, they, they are in different forms. As we may uh, tatapusin ko na yung topic natin. So, I will just sum it up. So, ang moral norms natin, they are in different forms. They can be expressed as principles, dispositions, character traits, and even through the life of a person. So, these are different ways of specifying criteria for moral judgments. Now, so I hope that you are able to learn about the discussions that we made, particularly itong moral standards and then moral standards. There are other uh, topics that are uh, in your module, particularly itong metaphors. Itong metaphors for moral standards and ito yung naiiwang topic doon metaphors for moral standards and another thing ay yung characteristics for moral standards so I will just leave uh, I will just hold you responsible for reading them characteristics of moral standards again i will just hold you responsible for reading these two topics and study them because they are very easy very self-explanatory and for your assignment class you do exercise number two yung assessment task natin gawin niyo yung test yung exercise one two and hanggang sa essay part yun lang yung tatlo na yan yung essay part yung multiple choice at sa kayo uh, multiple choice pa rin so gawin nyo yun guys and I hope that you all have learned something about this topic the next uh, the next topics will be given to you again uh, when we have our class so thank you so much for listening God bless Keep safe, everyone. So, isujante, lumaban pa tayo. Nandan natin yung battle cry natin. Walang may iwan na isujante. So, mama rurum.